morning. I'm Vicki and welcome to my channel. Live, eat, garden, repeat. So that entails a lot of stuff, right? I'm in the front yard and the, the yard, my front yard faces west. So it is hot in the afternoon and cool in the morning. So we're gonna start here. Um, in my front flower bed, I know it might seem kind of crazy, but I have one, uh, two cantaloupe plants and I can't believe how many cantaloupe I've got. You can see one kind of peeking through right there. It's getting ready. Um, if you're in Texas or if you're in a zone where it's really hot, Yopon hollies, they are my favorite. They don't die. They stay all year long. They look good. Um, this is just kind of, this is a, a spinoff of the big one that I put in years ago. The large one here that you're going to see is um, a weeping Yopon holly. I'm going to back up here so you can get the gist of just how big that has gotten. It has gotten really big and it just it gets full of red berries in the winter. It's just such a cool plant to have in your yard. And it rooted a little bit and it'll it'll take over if you're not careful. But I did not cut this one out because I decided I wanted to see how it would grow up and I keep it trimmed pretty good. I've got some sedum growing here in a bed, uh, in the flower bed, and this wire, wire rack is kind of neat. The neighbor across the street gave it to me so I can hang that. I, I've got to get some water on this sedum, but very unusual sedum. Um, I, was, I found it at a nursery here fairly close in town and yeah this right here I'm going to get worked on I've got it lined up for a contractor a, a, a landscaper guy to come out I'm going to do um, I'm going to enlarge this just a little bit this is at the front door and I'm going to enlarge this a little bit put um, gravel down that's easy to walk on when you get out of the driveway it's, it would be easier to be able to step on it instead of get it, getting on the grass because it's a lot cleaner going in the front door. But yeah, I've got all kinds of little things growing. My mums look good. Right here, a couple of mums. I've had them in for several years and they seem to be doing well in this spot. Like I say, it gets really, really hot. And a marigold. Something I need to plant, lantana, I mean not lantana, uh, n um, let's see, nandina, the, um, the nandina, uh, 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 I'll think of it, I'll think of it after a while. A uh, little salvia growing in there, lamb's ear, this, this stuff is so easy to grow, you should put some of this in your, and it, again, hot, hot sun, it can take it. I've got one lily. This is a blue flower. I'm hoping I, I just planted it not too long ago, so the bloom hadn't developed on it yet. Some strawberries up here in the front. It's really hot up here, so I haven't had any strawberries lately. I've got a crepe myrtle creeping in. I took it out. Uh, crepe myrtles uh, up at, close to the front, they drop their flowers. They're, they've got that sap. It's kind of sticky. And I just prefer crepe myrtles to be away from the front or the back door. And this is pretty close to the front. I had one right up at the front door over here. And I, uh, I took it out. It was just a mess. It was always messy. So think about that when you're planting crepe myrtles. Um, okay, I put this bed in and I'm, it's not quite finished. Um, the landscaper's going to come out and do some gravel for, uh, for me. And I'm going to have him, I think, stone around this. Put some stone. 
and the flat stone. I'm kind of tired of the same stack stone. Well, stack stone, I'm not sure what I'm talking about. Uh, border stone like this. I think I want to have the, the flat stone where you stack it and some, have something a little bit different. The neighborhood, everybody seems to be doing the same thing and I just kind of want to change it up. I just potted this firecracker bush in a pot because it, it, it w will not survive the winter. Uh, I'll have to push it into the garage. That's a firecracker bush and it looks pretty cool. It's got the red, little red blooms on it and the, of course the pollinators love it. There's some marigolds in there some juniper, different things going on in there. I'll get a little bit more detailed on this once I get it all fixed like I want it, but it's still pretty raggedy right now. And I planted a blackberry bush in the front. It's kind of crazy, huh? Had some pretty good blackberries this year. Uh, this is only one year old. This thing has just grown like crazy blackberry bush and again my strawberries are in there they did pretty good but yeah the front looks pretty good right now I'm in a subdivision as you can tell and I just had my yard mowed I love it when my yard is freshly mowed got a couple of things bamboos these are the um, uh, Nandina bamboos and I'm gonna there I've got three of them I've got to get get planted and I'm gonna get that done um, I've got some ivy growing up the, and I think there's a little bit of um, trumpet vine mixed in, so I kind of need to clean that up a little bit. And that's a little Nandina, we call them little nannies, and crown of thorns, one of my favorites, and it will stick you, it, it is thorny. I've got a rose bush there. That's new. I've gotten a little bit off of it. I'm gonna fertilize it. August is the best time to fertilize your rose uh, bushes and trim them. So think about that. Um, a little bit more trumpet vine growing up, up to the, and I keep it cut. It will chew into the grout, uh, the brick mortar, I'm sorry, the mortar. So you wanna be careful not to let it get out of control. And see this rose bush right here? It's too close to that sprinkler head. So I'm gonna have to move it because it it causes some yellowing on the on the leaves. And it's not good for it. And so I want it to be healthy and happy. So it's new this year too. So I'm gonna work on getting that um, dealt with. Again, it's time to fertilize in a couple of weeks. Trim up your rose bushes and put some fertilizer on. Uh, just some different hedges that I had planted. I did most of the planting myself. I've been here since 2014, no, I'm sorry, 2007 is when I moved in. And I just started when I, when you first move in, you wanna go ahead and get started because if you don't, you're gonna catch yourself putting it off, putting it off, and then you're not gonna get anything planted. So I got this, a bunch of this stuff planted right away and there's another rose bush that's hopefully going to be healthy and happy after I keep working with it. It's newer. And this one's a little bit older, but you know what? I don't think it was getting enough sun. And I have since cut this hedge back. And this is another Yopon holly, which is my favorite thing in the yard. Yopon hollies. They are just fabulous, and the bees love the little white flowers before the uh, red blooms come about. Easy to trim, too. Get your hedger, hedgers, your trimmer, and go at it, and just really easy to do. Then, I've got another hedge here. This is another kind of holly. It, it has rose, uh, little red uh, bulbs on it as well, and the bees love it when those little white flowers pop out before they turn into berries. 
Okay, you've seen this bed a couple of times more than the front. Um, strawberries look better over here because they are not getting beat up so much by the um, the west sun. This shades a little bit when the, it gets to be about 430. This will go into the shade. So the strawberries really love that break. And I've got several. I've got a couple in the, the tub over there. Got a pepper plant. Got some little flowers that I, a little, um, oh, you know, you're familiar with these kind of flowers. Yeah, petunias. I've got a transplanted holy basil that I found just growing up in the yard and I pulled it, stuck it in here with my one squash plant. Got a couple of squashes around the back, but and I've got to give some water to my sage. I grew all this stuff from seed except for the mum in the back of that. I grew the yopon, I mean, not the yopon, the, um, oh, 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 what do you call that? Of course, I picked these little guys up at the, at the Home Depot. We've got a mouse ear, a blue mouse ear, some jasmine, and some fig creeping fig which I kind of enjoy the creeping fig it's it's hard to kill and it and I really I really enjoy have it in my yard I've got some in the back as well but this is down the side lots of good landscaping like I say you want to start that just as soon as you move in or you'll just kind of put it off put it off and spend money on something else lots of expenses when you're you buy a brand you know you start uh, with buying your home and all the things that has to be done. I mean, it took me forever to get this yard looking this green. And I planted this tree and the one that I'm standing under. And uh, the person across the street where it says stop sign <laughs> uh, behind it uh, has an awesome yard. And I tell you what, those two guys right there, they mow their yard probably every other day. But they're putting some stuff on it uh, that I'm going to go get. It's a all-natural uh, feed that you feed feed the grass with lots of nitrogen. And I just, I'm just i going to have to be ready for mowing my yard more. But, uh, yeah. But that is some about what's going on in my yard. And I hope the sun isn't going to kind of mess things up here because it is in the, the east sun here it comes and it is hot you've seen this bed a couple of times I grew the little echinacea from seed and let's see what else we got in here hydrangea and yarrow oh my gosh I grew a ton of yarrow from seed and I'm gonna have to get this separated and figure out where I'm gonna put it I just stuck it in this pot for now but yarrow you, bees love it when they get their little blooms I had one bloom and that's all I've had bloom and bees love the you know the pollinators love it and oops bad shadow but yeah I've got a yarrow in there and that sage and I've got a couple of stackers over there, the um, green stock, but it's time to change them out and put something else in there. Here's my sedum. I love this little sedum. I've got two that I really like, the one I showed you in the front and this one. Yeah, really like that one. Okay, let's see if we can get out of this bright bright sun and I did this project back here which I've got to finish it I put it on the video and you guys hopefully will go back and watch it but I trimmed this with my new hedger and it looks pretty good I'm gonna work on it a little bit more at the bottom an old wheelbarrow if you guys have one, works out great. It's good for yard art. If you want to plant some stuff in, uh, I think I'm gonna. I've got a couple of bean plants. I think I'm gonna plant a couple of more beans when it, it's not so darn hot. 
holy basil. It's going holy moly. It's getting big. Guess what? Another yopon. Love my yopon hollies. Yes, you've got to have some of those. This was kind of a weeping one, but it's kind of losing that weeping shape. But yeah, love, love, love my, my hollies. But I've got to tackle this. This one needs to be trimmed really bad, but I've got my new hedger, my trimmers. So we're gonna get that done. We're gonna work on that one next time. And also this crepe myrtle. <laughs> that thing is getting huge. So and my garden looks pretty good. I've pulled out a bunch of stuff. It's just so hot and things just are spent. You know what I mean? And I love my big bees. I love my bees. It's so neat, so cool to see them in flying around on these blue salvias. Look at that little guy. He's a big guy. I had about six out here this morning, but I'm not sure that where they went off to. Yeah, there's another one over there. And, oh my goodness, I'm about to get my first cantaloupe. Check it out. There it is. I hope it's going to be good, and it's a big cantaloupe. I'm going to have to look up the brand. It was a volunteer, and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to leave it. Oh my goodness, I need to pick okra again. Check it out. Big okra. And this okra is pretty good. Uh, I'm planning, uh, I'm going to plant another round of okra. But, got a pepper plant going there. Got to get some more mulch out. Yeah. Those little bees are just working, working, working. Just working, working. They love that blue salvia. It's crazy. They love it. Here's my other cucumbers. I'm starting up some new cucumbers and a couple of okras. I'm just going to leave them in the pot. I'm going to narrow it down, I think, to just one. So I've got three there. I need to thin and just go back to one. Hey, I see a yellow bloom in there. And then the okra, I'm going to just narrow it down just to one. It's a different brand. Uh, brand. It's a different um, uh, kind than what's growing now. I've got some vines in the back that you see. Yeah. And then the vines over here. So we got blackberries and raspberries next to and they're probably going to need to be thinned. I hope they don't cross pollinate. But over here is another raspberry plant in the back. You see the vine back there? There's my neighbor. Hey, there's another yopon holly back there. Love my yopon hollies. You see it? It's behind that hanging basket. Okay, just make sure you can see it back there. Boy, the sun is bright today. And hey, I planted a, two new tomato plants. They looked good at Home Depot. So I just got them, stuck them in my stacker, my green stock. These are the older tomatoes. You can tell they're kind of getting worn out. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna get two, these two tomato plants and I'm gonna cover them cover them up in the afternoon uh, with this burlap and when it gets to be about 4 30 if I'm home you know I sell real estate so I'm I'm gone some but I work out of my house and um, so yeah I thought I'm gonna give these tomato plants some relief in the afternoon to see if maybe that will help them uh, I, I um, started this cinnamon basil from seed and it was kind of late, and I thought, you know, I'm going to go ahead and do that because the pollinators um, treat it, these bees treat it like blue salvia. They love the blooms on this cinnamon basil. So, okay. Got some more salvia back there. Like I say, 
those tomato plants are looking pretty spent. And um, but that's my garden. It's not huge, but it's it's enough just for me. Uh, I can maintain it. Got a big sunflower that's about well, it did bloom. It's facing out to the other direction. It's facing to the east. But I, I do back up to a green belt, which I really enjoy. And I got to get out here and pick some cucumbers. These are silver slicers. You can see some on the vine. So I've got to get out here and pick a couple and then I've got, there's a couple more growing. There's a good one that's coming on right there. So anyway, I thought you might enjoy looking at my garden and a bunch of the flowers I grew from seed and of course the tomatoes. We'll do a talk about what kind of grow lights I have. Uh, it won't be long before I'll be starting up some fall crops and um, we'll talk about that too as to what I'm going to plant in my small garden. <laughs> so okay well I hope you've enjoyed this and stay tuned for more trimming up on this uh, this hedge and cleaning up this a little bit. So okay guys I hope you have a great day. Have a blessed day. Talk to you later. Hey guys, I know I just signed off a minute ago, but I thought I would go ahead and finish this off showing you off, showing you, showing off my Yopon hollies and just how many I have. And this is in the backyard. I have one planted in the back border. You can see. This is a yopon. It's a, a holly, so it's got that holly leaf on it. And if we go in really close, this one has berries on it. Those are red in the winter in December. Yes, so you get some Christmas interest. So that's one. All right, let's zoom out. We'll walk over. This is my garden. And we're walking out to the green belt area. And I've got one more yopon in the far back here. But guess what? It's covered up by the blackberry bush. Dang it. But I can pull that out. Uh oh. I gotta cl clear that out a little bit, but this is another yopon. It's got little berries on it. It's not a real big one, but it's growing. It's coming along. So, here's that one. It's on the fence line, so I keep it trimmed so it doesn't scratch the neighbor's fence. Again, there's blackberry, raspberry, my tomatoes are looking a little wimpy. Okay. My patio's a little bit needing attention, so we're going to not focus on the back patio. Let's take one more quick look at my bees. My bumblebees. There he goes. So, there's another one right there. There they are, the bumblebees. So glad they are here in full force this year. It's so hot. But those blue salvia, I will never go without blue salvia in my garden again, ever. Okay, sunflower facing the wrong direction. There's my okra. And there's the, that one yopon I just showed you back there. Okay. Now these are hollies, but these are those pencil hollies. But they don't lose, and they do have red berries that come on as well. 
and they never lose their leaves. This one has berries, but it's not a yopon. But here's my fav one of my favorites. It is like tree form. I wish I would never have put this here. I had no idea it was going to get that big. Okay. But I'm on the side of the house now. I mean, check it out. I've got to trim it. I keep it trimmed off the roof, and it's just about time. But look at that. That is the most awesome yopon right there. You have got to put these in your yard. Look at the little berries. Again, they come out with white flowers first. And then the bees love the white flowers. And then they turn to red. I mean green first and then red. Okay, this is one of those bamboos, Nandinas. And you've got to have those in your yard as well. Yes, you have to. They have red berries on them as well. You get a really nice show around um, Christmas time in December. Okay, and this is a work in progress. It's a mess, but it's going to be all gravel soon just as soon I've got a project in the front as well more bamboo it's kind of wispy it's got the berries they turn red you'll see them in the in December you'll love them very hardy so more bamboos Nandina bamboos Yopon hollies you got to get them got to have them put them in your yard. Now these pencil hollies, they are a slow growing, uh, they are slow growing, but those Jopons, uh, if they are in their right condition, they will grow pretty fast. So, but anyway, here's that other one I showed you. So there, that's three so far. Three. Whoops, excuse me. Okay. Let's walk on around. Hear that airplane? Now, oh, I just transplanted that rose, um, rose bush. I pointed that out to you in the last, um, the first part of this video, and then this is days later. So I'm going to finish it up and get this to my editor, Lexi, Lexi Madison. Yep, that rose bush ought to do fine. They want at least six hours sun, so it will certainly get there got some mulch in my little gorilla wagon do a quick scan again okay everything's looking good here I pull those strawberries out of the front bed that Sun oh my goodness so I've got them here temporarily sitting and waiting where they're gonna go but there they are pulled them out of that front bed now this is my other yopon I trim this one up to make it look kind of like a topiary, but it's growing back in a little bit, but I love this one too. It covers that window well, and it has berries on it. Now this is a holly, but it's not a yopon, and I love it too. But. another yopon and let's see where I took out that rose bush it was right here right next to that whoops shadow right next to that sprinkler head so I took it out this is another kind of Nandina and it is a, what they call a little nanny and that thing turns beautiful in the winter oh it's so pretty it's red and a little green and you'll love those put those in your yard okay all right I've got that 
that. And then here are those other ones I just talked about. You have to have them in your yard. These are um, those bamboos again. Yep. And I've got another two Yopon hollies. I've got this one here. And I've got this really big one in the front. I think I already showed that one to you. Very nice, very nice, very nice. You'll love them. And then I've got one in this bed right here. Okay. So you've got to have these in your yard. It's a must. Here in Texas, you've got to have these. There we go. Oh, and I wanted to show you my cantaloupe. It's starting to look really good. There it is back in there. It's getting nice and ripe. Okay. I think that's it. The blackberry bush. I think the blackberries are done up here in the sun. Took the strawberries out. Cantaloupe's taken over. And there we go. This is my side yard. Yopon. And some other kinds of hedges I have. And there's the other kind of holly. Okay guys, I know I didn't show my face in this video, but go back and watch my other ones, the one right before this. It talks about real estate and how my face is in that one a lot. Changing a flapper on a toilet. Yeah. Ladies, I know you can do it. It's If I can do it, anybody can do it. So, okay. Again, I'm not going to show my face. It's early. And I love this purple crepe myrtle. It's small. I like it back here on the side. Got a little hookara coral bell growing right there. I just put it in. So we'll see if it takes hold. But okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and sign off now for sure. Uh, but uh, yeah, Yopon Hollies. And Nandina's, uh, the, uh, yeah, the bamboo. Okay, guys, there we go. All right, go back and watch my other videos so you can see what I look like, my face and, and, and my personality and, and when I'm live. And, uh, well, not if, when I'm live, but when, when I'm in front of the camera so you can kind of relate to me. Um, a little bit better. Okay, you guys have a blessed day, a good day, and uh, I'm going to get this video out, and I hope it's been one that you've enjoyed. Okay, have a good week.